Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here, and in this episode, I'm going to take you through the top five websites that the folks here at Creative Frontiers use to get free content. Now it can range from digital photographs to videos, vector files, fonts, and music. Uh, we're not getting affiliated or paid for any of this. This is simply us just saying, hey folks, these are websites that we recommend for really good content. So without further ado, and in no particular order whatsoever, so I'm going to start with Unsplash, which over the years has become more and more popular, but essentially it is a library of completely free photographic content. Uh, Unsplash started out in 2013 as kind of an experiment really of a group of people who I, I believe were on holiday and they, they shared their photographs uh, with the internet for free. Uh, these were print quality images and from there it's grown now to well over a million uploads. Uh, very recently, they just passed the 1 billion download mark, so it is a very popular website. Now, you don't even have to log in and create an account. You can just go straight away and browse for an image, and if you find what you want, you can hover over the thumbnail, and you can just click on the download button at the bottom right-hand side. Or, if you do create an account, you can add an image to a collection. So, here I've got already got a collection of 120 images. I can add them to my wilderness collection here, or you can create your own as well. So that's quite a handy tool for organizing content. Uh, you don't have to attribute the original author of the image, although, you know, it's, it's highly recommended. And hey, you know, people are giving away these images for free. So um, it's always uh, recommended. Uh, new additions to this is if I go and do a search in here, and then I will have now, I think these are newer options. You can search by orientation. So if I want to search for a square format, then that's what it's going to give me. Um, I can go and browse through a color theme in here or black and white. Um, so they're handy additions as well. And um, I've been using uh, Unsplash for a number of years and it is just the most amazing website. It really is. I'd highly recommend it. So the next site is pexels.com. Now, this looks very much like Unsplash. And to be fair, a lot of these free stock sites now do have a very similar feel to them. When you go to the main homepage of pexels.com, you'll see a combination of images and video. But if you go to the link at the top and choose to explore, you can go down to free videos. And that's the reason why I'm coming to this site, because this is probably one of the better places I found certainly for getting free video content. Um, and the thing I like about this site is it's really quick. The thumbnails load really quickly. And it's just a nice, easy, simple way of browsing for video content. If I click through to the main page, obviously you can preview uh, the full video and you can choose then which kind of quality you want to download. Here we've got 4K all the way down to 720p. Uh, you can then jump across to the uh, creator's main page and view more of their content. Um, lower down, you have got, obviously here it tells us that it's free to use, but if you click on the link for info, we get in here then um, the very basic licensing in here. So obviously it tells us that it's free to use. There's no attribution required, but you can also then click through and learn more about the licensing for this. As I would with any content you download from the web, always check its usage rights. Um, so that is Pexels, um, really handy website for video content and if you wish to, image content as well. So the next site is Flat Icon. So if you're looking for symbols uh, and infographics in vector format, um, then Flat Icon, it really is the place to go to. Um, so up here then, if I do a, a quick search, something like uh, Summer, you'll get a list of results. Now, here's the thing to look out for. If you want to get free content, then you'll be looking at things that don't have the golden crown underneath them. So that's premium content. But I have to say, if you're looking for something, I have never failed to find something that is free on here that I'm looking for. Yes, there'll be a premium version of it, but you know, the, the icons in here are really good quality. If, for example, I find this one and click on it, you can go to the page for it. It will allow you to have versions in the outline mode, colored in there and colored and outlined. You can go with whichever one you feel is most appropriate. Um, in terms of downloading then, if you don't pay for the content, then um, you will have to attribute the author of the artwork. Um, you can choose to download in pixel-based format. Um, so you've got PNG in there. But my recommendation is if you can work with SVG, always pick the SVG option, which is a scalable vector graphic, which means that you can use it at pretty much any size that you wish to in screen and print. That then downloads and you could edit that in Adobe Illustrator if you wish to. Um, so that is a great place to go and get free vector icons and things like that. So that is Flat Icon. 
The next website has the rather awesome name of Font Squirrel. If you are a user of uh, template files, maybe for Photoshop or for After Effects, for example, then you'll tend to find that the people that create those template files often supply the fonts that come with them from uh, Font Squirrel. So, um, yeah, you might find yourself browsing to these sites if you download template files and resources. But, you know, essentially, um, Source Sans here, if I want to click on this one, takes me to the page and you can choose to download i mean look at the different weights and styles that we've got in there so um yeah font squirrel is a great place to get free fonts it's quite a large library on there as well to choose from so font squirrel and the final one is the free music archive uh, i think this started out life as um two radio stations that collaborated to put free uh, music online and um from there it's flourished into this huge library but if i click up at the top for uh, search in here You'll see that we've got uh, genres. There's a lot to pick at in there. So if I go to say hip hop, uh, as with all these sites, you can just click on play, play the track. You can go and download. I would always recommend, though, that you go to the track page and then find out what the usage is, because I pretty much find that these all differ what you can use them for. But again, they're all free to download. Um, you can go to the charts and you can view what you know the week, the month and all times. So if you want to see what the most downloaded tracks are in here if i click on this one you may well have heard it somewhere um, but yeah you can go and browse and download free music so one last one to show you um this is free pick now as you might expect by the name there's a lot of free content on here but there is paid content as well and th again this is one that we've used for a while we've we've dipped into and we've downloaded free content and a few months back, we, we bought an annual subscription. It's kind of how it works. So I think it worked out something like $69, um, but they do have deals on throughout the year. So you get, for a year's access, um, you can download anything from the site. The only limitation is that you can only download, I say only, only download 100 items every day. Now, I haven't even come close to that. Um, even on the very first day I got my subscription and I was like a kid in a candy store. But the reason why I'm showing this is because it's one of those rare things that it's a paid subscription that you have for a year long and it's a very low fee. And I love the liberating idea that if I'm stuck for a visual or a graphic or a mock-up for something, I know I can jump over to free pick and I can get pretty much what I'm looking for. I've very seldom found that I've struggled to get what I want from here. So it's a massive library. So, for example, if I just do a search in here for a uh, magazine. So in here, there's you'll find uh, vector content. You'll find PSDs as well, which is one of the things is so cool. So you could, uh, if you wanted to, you could find a, a mock-up of a magazine uh, or a brochure, something like that. So this is a PSD template. So I could download this. And if I wanted to just put a design for a client onto a mock-up, then all I need to do is have my artwork that I've designed for the client and then open up a smart object inside of the PSD. And then it appears in this layout on here. So yeah, th th there's just so much content on this website. And I have to say for the price is a really good website. So that is, again, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not affiliated anyway, but I, you know, Hey, if something's good, you shout out about it. And um, this takes some beat and free pick. So that's uh, that's my pick of paid stock sites. As always, folks, if you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. You can always subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss any of our posts, which are every Friday. And we'll share with you uh, tips and techniques and insider information that will help save you time, money, and allow you to create killer artwork. And until next time, farewell.